Uh, hey, yo, what's up gamers? Welcome back to the, um, the sixth installment of the Tower Podcast. I am your host, Tower, and I realize that I have not posted, um, a podcast episode in quite a while. Um, sorry about that. I just have had no motivation to make one of these because it actually takes quite a long while to, like, do one of these. Um, and truly, it is quite a hardship to record a podcast. Um, I don't have that much time to myself anymore, and so to sit down for 20 minutes to ramble into my computer about just anything, I have to come up with these things on the spot as well, I don't plan this, I probably should plan this, it's, it's quite hard. Um... Anyways, I wanted to tell you guys about this dream that I had a few nights ago. Um, it was a very, very, very pleasant dream. Um, so basically the other night, like, it was, uh, um, between Friday and Saturday, right? Um, I had a dream where I was, like, basically it was just an average Saturday, except it wasn't an average Saturday. Because we did groceries like usual, right? Um, and I looked in there, like, we went up to the refrigerator bit with all of the drinks and stuff. And they literally had every single monster flavor ever. Well, all of the ultra ones, at least. And they had a can of ultraviolet. And I couldn't bet- choose between, um, I, 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 I couldn't decide on whether I wanted a can of, um, ultraviolet or the original no sugar so what i did was i got both of them and then i just drank both of them right then and there um pretty tasty um and then i saw that they had all of the other ultra cans so i decided to organize them all in rainbow order and that was very fun and as i was putting the um them um the, as i was putting some of them on the top shelf um i looked at the back and they had these cute little juices um, and there was, it was, uh, there was a most high one, and that was strawberry flavoured, and there was a lollipsy one, and that one was, like, marshmallow and bubblegum flavoured. Um, I got both of them, of course, um, because they looked delicious, and they were, like, massive, um, and they looked tasty as well. They had cool colours on them, um, I'm sad that they don't exist in real life, though. Um, anyways... And then I looked at the bakery that they had, and they had a bunch of cool stuff, but I didn't get anything from there. From there. Um, next thing I know, I was in my class, in fashion class, um, and the bell rang, and we went out to have lunch, except I'd like school lunch, except I didn't get any of the school lunch. By the way, for, 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 for the school lunch, it was um my mom's grilled chicken, which was delicious. Um, but you see the thing the thing about that is that like I didn't actually get any of the chicken even though it was delicious. Instead, what I did was I hopped behind I I I hopped behind behind I I hopped behind the canteen counter, and um they were giving away free gloves. Um. And so I, of course, had to look through the gloves, and they had, like, so many cool gloves, you know what I mean? Um, they were, like, these really cool black and white striped ones, and then there were also these blue and black striped ones, and they had a picture of Gura from Invader Zim on there, and I was just like, oh my god, this is the coolest stuff ever. Um, I looked up, and I was not in the canteen anymore. Well, I mean, I was looking through the gloves, yes, but no, it it had actually turned into a thrift store, and it was a really big thrift store, and so for the rest of the dream, I just, I went thrifting. Um, I found so many cool things, like, like, there was, um, uh, a copy of that book that Andy made, um, they don't need to understand, so of course I had to, um, you know, put that in my cart, and then there was also like a bunch of really cool dresses and gloves and belts and just just everything I could have ever dreamed of. You know, they had bootstraps and really cute shirts and corsets and skirts and just they had everything. 
um, and they even had cute little socks as well. Um, and so I paid for it, and it was only 32 bucks. And I walked out of there with a massive bag. But, like, it wasn't just a normal bag, because, and, like, well, you, could, you see, by massive, what I meant was, like, the bag was as big as me. Like, just me. Tower sized. And I'm, like, 160 centimeters tall. Or, or 160.4 centimeters tall. I can't measure today. Um, anyways, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, that's right, that dream. Um, and, and then I walked out, and I was going to go into my car to go home, and then I woke up. Um, immediately I felt sad and confused, because I was just like, wait a minute, where was all my stuff? Um, and that kind of sucked. Um, but cool thing is, is that, like, that same day I woke up, it was Saturday in real life. Um, well, I mean, I had woken up at 5.30. Um, and then I heard my mom get up. And then I was gonna go down to unpack the dishwasher for her. Um, but then I looked at the time and it was 5.30. Um, and then I was just like, oh, mom's going to be mad if I um, wake up at this time. So I just went back to sleep. Well, actually, I did not go back to sleep. Because I could not go to sleep. I just kept thinking about how cool that dream was. Um, but yeah, it w because it was Saturday, like, um, that meant that I actually got to recreate my dream in real life. Pa practically. Because we, we, we went to go get groceries. Um, and the groceries... Like, what's it called? It, it, they did not have any new monster flavors. But they did they, did, they, they did have the original no sugar. And that one, that, that's my favorite. So I got one of those. And I also wanted to try, like, a new protein bar. So I got this, um, Athena raspberry white chocolate one. I expected it to be, like, absolutely delicious. And so I went, um, into the car and I, I tried it. And, well, it was, it was underwhelming to say the, actually, no, it was both, um, it was both underwhelming and overwhelming. It was underwhelming because it did not taste as nice. Because, like, I, I, I bit into it, right? And I, I was just like, oh my god, this is delicious. It does not have that, um, weird protein bar taste. But then the protein bar taste kicked in afterwards. And it was overwhelming because the protein taste was so strong and it hurt my throat. Um, but that's alright because, like, I, I, I had, like, a couple more bites out of it, right? Because, like, I mean, it was tasty. Yummy. Um, until my, th it, the soreness did not go away. And, um, I, I, I was just gonna play it off as a few, as a fluke. Until I looked at the packaging on the back of it and all of the ingredients. And guess what? It has walnuts in it. And almonds. I mean, I can eat almonds, but, like, I feel sick if I have too many. But it has walnuts in it, and that's bad. Because I'm actually very, 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 very allergic to nuts. Um, and my throat started swelling up, and it turned bright red. And for some reason, whenever I, like, whenever I have something that I'm allergic to... Like, um, there's, like, holes in my throat. Like, it looks like there's holes at the back of my throat, and it's bright red, and it's, uh, it's scary. Um, and that was not fun. Um, I told my mom, and fun fact, this is, like, the first time my mom's ever actually kind of believed me when I've had some sort of allergic reaction. Because, like, I showed her my throat, and she was just like, oh my god, Tala, that's not good. Is that what happened? when you have something allergic to and I was just like yes it is and she was just like oh I'm so sorry because like you see I'm allergic to quite a lot of things um walnuts or pistachios and basically all just kind of nuts you know peanuts whatever um well, not really almonds or hazelnut actually no I've never had a hazelnut um uh, and avocados as well. I'm allergic to avocados. It is so sad. Because, like, they seem nice, right? But it's, it's, avocados, they're marketed as, like, creamy 
and green and you taste it right expecting it to be something tasty like cabbage but no it hurts your throat well for me it hurts my throat because I'm allergic to them um anyways so that hurt and I was burning hot because also whenever I'm allergic to something right it makes me feel burning hot and so I know that it's like the middle of winter or whatever and like we've literally just come out of like a polar blast or something but yeah I I I took off my jacket I was wearing a singlet by the way I was wearing my cute cool new shirt um and I just winded the windows down I'm, I'm sorry mom for it being freezing because um I realized that it that that because like it benefits me opening the window and being cold because that's because like you know I had a allergic reaction I need to be as cold as possible so sorry mom for making you cold as well by winding the window down um anyways so yeah I drank my monster and that was tasty that was like my my antihistamine basically I know that it's basically acid but it was tasty and it hurt and it helped my 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 sore throat um and then and then we went home and then we unpacked and then we waited until it was um 11 and then we went thrifting and like that was I had literally such an amazing day at thrifting I walked in and there was this dude that said hi to me um and then I found so many cool things well I found four cool things I found a Wales plate a Welsh plate it's a uh, it's a cute small antique looking plate I showed this off in one of my previous videos but like it, it just has uh, whales written on it with some cute little um, paintings on it. It's so cute. I've been eating all of my meals off of it. Um, I also found uh, what's it called? What did I get again? Oh yeah, I found this strap for one of the bags that I'm making. Cause you you guys know how I'm making soda tab bags. Well, yeah, I found a strap for one of those. The color, it doesn't match exactly. It's a bit gray, it's a bit dull, but that's all right. I'm sure it'll look fine. Um, I also found this really cute shirt. It is basically just a normal gray and black shirt. I already, a striped shirt. Um, ex uh, I, I already have one, but it's different because the stripes are much smaller, much closer together. And also it has this really cute thing where it has buttons on it and also a little collar thing and it looks absolutely adorable and I love it so much um and then I also like the last thing I bought it was um I bought these cute skull pants I think I showed them off in my last video but yeah they're pretty cool they have skulls and lightning bolts on them and they're grey and they're pajama pants um I love them so much and then afterwards, uh, I, I got pizza. Oh yeah, that's right. So, um, you know how I've been, like, telling you guys so much about how, like, um, I made that watercolor art for my favorite pizza place? Well, my mom and I, we went there, and we walked in, and the dudes, they recognized me, because I wrote them a review, um, and they said that I was, like, the slightest reviewer ever, um, they immediately knew what pizza I wanted, and so they made my pizza, and it was delicious, and I gave the dudes my painting, and, um, he, the, he was just like, oh my god, this is so cool, I really appreciate it, I'm gonna frame it and put it on the wall, and so, I mean, I haven't been this, um, I, I haven't been to the pizza place since, you know, last time at Saturday, on Saturday, but if I ever walk past there again, which I'm probably going to, then perhaps I could see my epic watercolor art on the wall. I'm so happy that the dudes liked it. And I'm so happy that they remember me. Um, and so that made my day. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, it's June 10th. It's my best friend Azaria's birthday. Happy birthday, Azaria. Um... Today, it was a pretty cool day. Um, I had a doctor's appointment today. Um, it took forever. Um, we got there like 30 minutes beforehand to try find a park. 
um but like there were actually quite a few parking spaces available so that didn't take that long but you see it was like super duper 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 busy um and so i was just kind of sitting in the waiting room with a bunch of sickly old people um not my favorite thing in the world but what ifs i got through it and the lady the doctor lady she took my blood pressure um it was very hard for her to to hear my heart rate but yeah it's incredibly low um and then she said that she's going to run some more tests on me but she said that she's gonna leave that to june i mean to july 15th that's in like over a month um and then she said some other things and it took forever. I don't really know what happened. I kind of forgot. And then we went home and we had lasagna for dinner. That's yummy. I dished myself up a plate for tomorrow's dinner. We were going to have mince or we were going to have nachos or burritos or something. But I like to just call it kind of like mince and salad because that's all I have. I don't have the nachos and I don't have a burrito. I just have the mince with the salad and some sauce on it it's delicious and i like it well i love it actually but yeah um i also think that it would be like um what's it called important and beneficial for you guys to know what i'm going to be up to this weekend um my mom she's been hyping up um getting sushi or whatever. actually no she said that we were going to get kfc for lunch but, I mean, KFC, it's not my most favorite thing in the world. I wouldn't necessarily choose it. Um, I just don't really like how it tastes. But because I chose what we got for lunch last week, um, I just figured that I'm going to be nice. Of course, I'll let my amazing mother choose what we want to have for lunch. But then she changed her mind because she said that it was too unhealthy. So we're going to get sushi instead, which is cool because sushi, I like sushi. It's nice. Um, usually I only get three pieces. Um, I get this, ch um, this spicy chicken skewer, and then, um, I also get, oh, my favorite one, the, it's this lemon prawn one. Basically, it's rice, and then it has a prawn on it, but the prawn, it's crumbed, and not only is it crumbed, but it's also dunked in this really tasty lemon honey thingy. Um, the lemon stuff, it's kind of sour, but then you bite into the prawn and it's really crunchy. Because, like, the outside is crunchy and kind of sour. But then once you get to the prawn, it tastes, like, a lot sweeter and just, you know, that, that nice, um, how would you describe prawn? Um, it's kind of light tasting, but also a bit crunchy, but, like, way softer than the crumbly outside. And then the rice, it's, like, it's, like, it's, it's rice, it's soft. And moist and it's my favorite because like all of the textures just make it really nice and appetizing um, and also um, for the third piece of sushi it's either um, one of the hot sauce salmon ones or um, one of the octopus skewers they're very very tasty I enjoy eating the octopuses um, and then afterwards we're going to do groceries. I'm going to get a can of Zero Sugar Monster Energy because that's my favorite. Um, and then later on we're going to go for a walk. And then on Sunday we're going to go to the gyms. There's a cafe near my gym and they sell waffles there. I haven't had waffles in months so perhaps I'll get one of those. Um, and then afterwards we're probably going to visit my grandparents. And perhaps I'll go thrifting. I don't know, because my mom, she's been saying that I need to save my money and stop going thrifting every week. Um, so, okay, I guess I'll listen to her. Um, I'm sure my wallet would endorse me not going thrifting as much. Anyways, this thing's about to end soon. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all of the, all, all of the latest updates. Bye-bye.